Good evening, Hokie Nation and FCA ministry partners. Thanks for tuning in early to the FCA virtual ministry celebration at Virginia Tech. We're excited to show you some highlights and get ready for our program. But before we do, let me give you a shout out to our corporate ministry partner, the Courtyard Marriott Blacksburg. We're so thankful for their partnership over the years and we're looking forward to many more. I want you to sit back and relax. As we all know, COVID-19 has disrupted a lot of things in our lives, but tonight we're gonna to celebrate. We're gonna celebrate you, and we're gonna celebrate our athletes and coaches, and most of all, we're gonna celebrate God. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the program. God bless you.
I don't know why you're here. But there is a reason for this fellowship of Christian athletes, I think. The most damnable thing I know of in the life of youth today is idleness. There's a great danger there. Athletics has a place. Why this thing of fellowship of Christian athletes seems to have arisen in the mind of a few men. This fellowship. You're not going to get a thing out of it. Not one of you. There's a service in this field. There's a responsibility in this field. The potential is almost beyond conception. Think of the power of this group. Through all the nations of the world. Not just two or three gathered together. But millions of people everywhere dedicated to a common cause with the life of Christ on the field of play. That's where God shows his face. If you knew that God wanted you to do something, would you do it? If you knew that God wanted you to do something, would you do it? If we are to have a Christian fellowship, you could. You know you could. Hokie Nation and FCA family, welcome to the FCA at Virginia Tech virtual celebration. My name is Ace Custer, and I'm a 1997 graduate of Virginia Tech. I was also a member of the men's basketball team from 1993 to 1997. I am excited for what God is doing through the ministry of FCA and extremely thankful for EL and the work he does with our coaches and student athletes on a daily basis. I want to take a moment to thank all those who partner with SEA and everyone watching this morning. Now let's begin our celebration with prayer. Hello everyone, Justin Hamilton, defensive coordinator at Virginia Tech. I uh, participate through FCA with Brother Dave in a weekly Bible study with our coaches. Very thankful for that and the platform that FCA provides us as coaches and our athletes and our other administrators to be able to share in faith with one another. I'd like to kick off the event with prayer, so if everyone would please bow your heads. Father, we thank you today for another day, for all your many blessings, for all the things that you provide us with, even and especially in the midst of what's perceived as a storm. God, we thank you that you're in control. We thank you that you work for the good for all your people, and we trust and believe that your hands have everything under control. God, that your mercy, your favor, and your grace will be shown to each of us. We pray that through that process that we will be able to carry your word, to carry your message, and to be stewards for you, and that we will be able to impact others. And God, we thank you so much for what you provide us with the FCA, for the men and women that are part of administering the messages that are part of reaching our coaches, our student athletes, we thank you for the financial supporters, God, the ones who make it possible for us to experience the messages that we are given, and God, for them to be able to do their part, doing your part. We thank you so much for that, God. We thank you for those people. We pray that you would bless the providing, that it would be used for your glory and for your goodness. We thank you for each coach, each athlete, every administrator, all the teachers, professors, everyone who comes in contact with the student athletes, the student athletes themselves and their families. And God, we just pray that you would continue to watch over each and every one of them. Pray that 
you would bless us in all our ways. And God, that in every way we would look to you for the things that we say, for the things that we do, and for how we interact with each other. I pray a special prayer for Brother Dave, for Corey, for EL, for Leslie, and for Taylor with the Virginia Tech FCA. God, that their ministries would continue, whether it be by Zoom or FaceTime or through prayer and through connection with our student athletes, that as we're apart, we would continue spiritually to keep the same growth that we've had or to continue growing. And God, we just thank you so much for all that you do. Pray that you would bless the messages and the messengers as we have our celebration tonight. We thank you and we love you and we praise you and we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. This is Whit Babcock coming to you from Blacksburg, Virginia. And I sure will be glad when we don't have to wear those masks anymore. Although that was a pretty stylish one, you'll have to admit. I know today is normally a celebration and we will still make it one even though it's virtually under these challenging times. Thanks for everything that you do for FCA, whether that's as a student athlete, whether it's as a donor supporter, or a prayer warrior, an encourager, or whatever role you may play. Thank you for that. Kelly and our family are involved and have been for quite a while because when I look back on my life, the two biggest influences were sports and my faith. Certainly my family and children and other things, but it comes down to those two. And when I have an opportunity to combine the two favorite things in my life, two biggest influences, it's a no-brainer. You're probably in the same boat as me, and thank you for doing that. At Virginia Tech, we'll continue to develop our young people to be strong in mind, body, and spirit. We'll do it the right way, and we'll continue to do that. In the meantime, keep fighting the good fight till we can get back together. Now is a good time to be still, listen to the Word of God, be out in nature, and bring this thing to its knees together. When it's all finished, we'll use it as a rallying point, and sports will be there, and FCA will be there. I'm proud to be a part of it. God bless. Go Hokies and see you soon. Hello, FCA VT ministry partners and friends. Thanks for joining us for this virtual experience. For those of you who may not know us, I'm Dave Giddings. And since August of 2013, I've been called to serve FCA at Virginia Tech as campus ministry director and chaplain for our Hokies football and women's basketball team. I'm thrilled to help fulfill God's mission to lead every coach and athlete into a growing relationship with Jesus and his church. And this is my beautiful wife, Kim, a.k.a. Mama Kim. Hello, ministry partners. I, too, am glad you could join us. You mean so much to us, and we are so excited to share with you how God is moving on the campus of Virginia Tech, answering your prayers, bringing fruit to your investments by growing his kingdom through athletes and coaches. I am blessed to be on faculty with Edward Vyer College of Osteopathic Medicine, VCOM, as the Director of Standardized Patients, where I have the joy of helping train our future generation of doctors. In addition, I am also called alongside Dave to help engage, equip, and empower coaches, wives, and girlfriends, along with athletes' girlfriends, who want to grow in the relationships with the Lord and who want to grow in faithful obedience to Jesus Christ and become godly examples in their relationships. Kim and I are from the wonderful city of Pittsburgh. Go, Go Steelers. Steelers. Yes. And we have been together now for 28 years. I'm so blessed. Yes, you are. And we have had the joy of raising four cool kids who are now adults. Aaron who lives in Pittsburgh with our granddaughter, Aaliyah, and is a successful barber. Everett, who lives in Greensboro, North Carolina, and is a doctor of chiropractic and sports medicine, who's engaged to Katie, who works at Virginia Tech in the admissions department. Lord willing, they'll get married in July. Yes, Lord willing. Nisha, who lives in Philadelphia and works as a manager at an orthodontist practice. And Brianna, our baby girl who recently got married to Lieutenant Stan, our son-in-law, who is serving in the United States Army. They're currently stationed at Fort Lee in Petersburg, Virginia. What a joy to share our family with you this evening. And there's so many highlights that we could talk about. But Kim, there's one thing in particular that really grabs my heart. One of the greatest highlights since we've been here would be to officiate a wedding, wouldn't you say? Yes. The joy of walking with a coach and an athlete as they experience God's call into holy matrimony has truly been a blessing. We have had the honor of marrying eight couples since we've been here. 
And now I'm looking forward to officiating the ceremony of Vinny Mahoda and his beautiful fiance, Amanda. You know, Kim and I couldn't be happier. We are so blessed to be a part of this ministry and to have you partner with us. So we thank you. Through the rest of the program, you'll hear more highlights from other coaches and athletes. But I want to take a moment and have you hear from our staff. So let me pass it over to my amazing team. What's going on, Hokie Nation and FCA family? This is E.L. Smiling, men's basketball and men's soccer chaplain. I want to take a moment to introduce my wife to you all. Hi, everyone. My name is Megan. Um, E.L. and I have been married just over a year now. I ran track at West Virginia University where I first got involved in FCA. FCA is actually how E.L. and I met. And I'm so excited to be a part of an FCA family again. As many of you are well aware, ministry is a lot different since the spread of COVID-19. While I'm not able to meet with most of my guys in person, we're still able to have weekly huddle for both the players and coaches on Zoom. I'm also able to continue one-on-one -on -one discipleship through FaceTime and Zoom, and we're continuing to study God's Word together through the YouVersion Bible app group plans. Where life throws obstacles, I believe God creates opportunities. COVID-19 has created opportunities to use our technology in creative ways to continue to connect and grow in our walks with Christ. Hey there, everyone. Um, my name is Leslie Clapp. I'm the campus representative for FCA at Virginia Tech, uh, serving the female coaches and athletes on a variety of the women's sports teams at Virginia Tech. So um, this is my finishing up my sixth year on campus. And for the last almost four years, I've been married to, to Adam. Yeah, my name is Adam. I'm actually coming on staff uh, with FCA in Montgomery and Floyd counties here in Virginia. And this little guy right here, his name is Roman. Can you say hi to everyone? Can you wave and say hi? Roman turns 10 months old next week on the 25th. So as you can imagine, this past year has been a lot of fun for us as a family um, with Roman and, and with Adam being with FCA now. Um, we've really felt the privilege of our family being a part of the ministry um, we love Roman loves going to games, to practices. He loves being on camera, especially. Um, but seriously, um, we've been able to invite so many of the coaches and athletes into our life as a family and and um, be a part of their lives the best we can as well. So um, it's been a great year. It's been a lot of fun. Um, and we are so grateful for each one of you. Um, you allow our family to do this and, and partner with us in the kingdom work. And so um, our family thanks Hi, you so I'm much. Hi, I'm Taylor Gate, and I'm Dave's assistant. I have volunteered with the Breakfast of Champions a couple of years before officially coming on staff in June 2018. I am from Christiansburg, Virginia. I also have had a lot of friends and a lot of family members go to Virginia Tech. So... Virginia Tech has a special place in my heart. I come from a very ministry-oriented family, and I also come from a very sports-oriented family as well. So when God led me to FCA, it all made sense that he would combine my love of sports with my love of ministry. He truly gives us the desires of our hearts. The funny thing is, is that I actually turned this job down before. Dave had approached me about this position a week after I had already accepted another job. Well, the other job didn't work out. So I called Dave, and this was about five months later, after he had offered me the job, and asked him if the position was still available. And he said yes. It was honestly a Proverbs 16-9 moment. And right then and there, I knew that this is the place that God had for me. I get the honor and the privilege to not only be behind the scenes of the ministry, but to see behind the scenes of the ministry. So I see all the long hours. I see and I hear the prayers. I see the fasting. I see all the studying. I see all the tears, all the frustrating moments, all the uncertain moments for every coach and for every athlete and all of athletics and all of their families that each one of these chaplains serve. I hear about all the baptisms and all the salvations 
But probably my favorite thing is hearing about the ones who get it. Hearing about the ones who truly understand the price that Jesus paid for them. Hearing about the ones who truly understand what God is doing in their life and how he has a plan for them. Hey everyone, I'm Corey Bird. I'm Katie. Friendly. Abba. And my family and I have been blessed to be a part of the SCA team at Virginia Tech since January of 2020. I work primarily with the men's and women's track and field team, the men's and women's cross country team, and the men's and women's tennis team. Uh, we just wanted to share some ministry highlights with you all today. And Brinley would like to start first with her highlight. I like coming to the track meet and uh, once I went to track practice. Yeah, we like going and supporting the student athletes um, that we work with. And that's definitely a highlight of Brinley's and of our families. And a ministry highlight for me um, is just really seeing the doors that God has opened for me um, in a brief time since I've been on staff at Virginia Tech. In just four months, um, the coaches that I've interacted with, um, with the sports that I work with, have been very open and very inviting. Um, getting to go out to track practice and show my support um, at practice and at the meets. And just seeing the student athletes, um, again, just being open um, and seeking God's word um, through, their, through their sport. And um, just for example, you know, the first day I went to track practice, um, one of the female student athletes asked me if I would come to um, the, what they call the shakeout the morning of their first meet and pray with her before she ran. And uh, of course, that's what I'm here for. And so I went and that ended up being just one student athlete to her inviting some of her teammates. And we ended up having the whole sprint group come over um, after they got done with their warm up. And I was able to share some scripture and a prayer. And so just kind of seeing that, again, God just opening doors, putting it, putting it on their hearts and see that evolve to when they were away at track meets, me um, sharing scripture and sharing prayer with them through group messaging. Um, and through now, even during this time, even though we're all separated, um, they're still seeking God's word. And I'm um, just going through online video studies with them and having um, small group huddles through Zoom and being able to interact with them uh, even at this time. So that's just been awesome to see. It's definitely be, been a highlight for me is seeing God work already. Uh, through this ministry and we just like to would like to thank all of our ministry partners um, as a family my family greatly appreciates uh, your support um, and just seeing what god is doing with your support and what the fca is doing with your support has been great to see so again we just thank you all so much um, for being ministry partners with us and with the fca and you all have a great day and enjoy this and god bless Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the chaplain for the Virginia Tech baseball team. Uh, I currently live in Blacksburg with my wife and two dogs. My wife is an author and a dental hygienist by trade. Uh, so I serve as a volunteer chaplain for the Virginia Tech baseball team. I'm actually the first full-time chaplain that they've had. Um, and God has blessed me in a way financially that enables me to give the time that's necessary uh, to be their full-time chaplain. And I can't imagine not being part of this. I've been involved in ministry for the last uh, probably 12 years. Uh, and when this opportunity presented itself, it was it was just hands down, absolutely. Uh, I, I didn't know what to expect, but I knew it was gonna be special. Uh, and God has far exceeded any expectation that I had uh, going into this. Even though I do it in a volunteer capacity, I see, I, I, I'm behind the scenes and I understand uh, in large part what it takes to run FCA at Virginia Tech and it's it's not easy it takes there's a lot of resources a lot of man hours a lot of time a lot of money uh, to make that happen and if it weren't for you we we just couldn't be there uh, so thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all that you do for all of your sacrifices uh, both time and, and monetarily and and most of all we cover your prayers for sure um, it, it's it's not easy doing what we what we do we love it for sure uh, but just continue to pray that God would give us the courage and the insight 
uh, and they would, he would continue to lead us as we do our dead level best to shepherd and care for the souls that he has entrusted us with. So uh, today we want to celebrate you and say thank you uh, for all that you do for us and all that you are. It, it makes it possible for us to move forward knowing that we have a support system uh, like yourselves that stand behind us uh, firm and all that you bring to the table. So uh, if it weren't for you, we couldn't be here. So thank you. Uh, continue to pray for us as we move forward. Blessings. Thanks, Brian. We're going to move and transition now to a time of hearing brief testimonies from some of the Virginia Tech coaches and athletes who have been impacted by the ministry of FCA. Hi, my name is Leah Rivers. I'm on the women's basketball team here at Virginia Tech. Um, we'll be graduating this upcoming May. Um, was a grad transfer, so I've only been here for a year. Uh, but through this year, FCA has just been a huge blessing in my life. Um, coming from a different school and just being a student athlete in general um, comes with a lot of stress. It can be overwhelming at times. And a lot of times we lose focus on what's really important. And FCA was just a great reminder of that. Um, through FCA, I've been able to grow in my faith, um, really develop a deeper connection and relationship with Christ. And um, it's just been awesome. Um, and also an awesome impact in my life. Um, throughout the year, my teammates and I weren't able to make it to a lot of the big FCA huddles they have on Monday nights. Um, but having a team chaplain like Brother Dave uh, set up weekly meetings um, just to give us a powerful and encouraging message has just been just amazing, honestly. Um, he's present at a lot of our practices, comes to pretty much every game. Um, prays for us when we need it. Just has been an overall great leader and great mentor for us, a great outlet for us to talk to if we need anything, if we're feeling discouraged. Um, he's just been there and it's been awesome to have him around. Um, through FCA, we've also, to a teammate and I, have made the greatest deci decision of our lives and got baptized. So what FCA is doing, that speaks for itself. Um, how impactful and how great FCA is um, and I just couldn't be more grateful for the opportunity to be a part of it. Hi I'm Kelly Murphy I'm the assistant director of strength and conditioning at Virginia Tech and I was going to talk about how FCA has impacted me since I've been here. Um, I think for me it's like super helpful and um, encouraging to know that there is a group of people who are here um, praying for us, uh, encouraging us, and really providing community for those of us who um, are seeking to glorify God in what we do. And um, I think that the prayer is one thing that's really helped me uh, when I, so I started here in June, and I know I can remember back to one day in the fall, um, I was having a just like not a good day and some things were frustrating me and I was going downstairs to the women's locker room and I knew who Leslie was and ended up passing her in the hallway and she asked how I was doing and I'm pretty sure that with whatever sarcastic comment I threw back at her she picked up on the fact that it wasn't a great day um, and so I went into the locker room and a couple minutes later she came into the locker room too and we were able to talk a little bit and at that point she was able to ask me if she could pray for me and just kind of sitting there or standing there um, and refocusing on the Lord and just um, being able to be there and be supported and have someone who's really like fighting for you um, even during the times when um, it's just like a crummy day or just like not a great time. I think it's awesome just having that support system there and um, those people who are just like refocusing you on what's really important. Um, so that really made an impact on me. And I think that um, more so than that too, it's provided just community in the workplace. The athletic departments, they're hard places to be um, and they're super fun and busy and there's a lot going on, but I think that they're um, it can be a lot sometimes and so having that support system there and not only that but bringing together um, those that do um, want to learn more about God and about his word providing Bible studies. I know that I go to Bible study once a week and it's been like awesome to be able to just stop in the middle of the day once a week um, and be able to just go and be around other people who are going to talk about God, who are going to talk about his word, who are going to 
um, look more into it, even like in the athletic department as well, like physically in the building to be able to say, regardless of everything that's going on around us right now, like we can stop and we can talk about him and we can focus on him. Um, I think that's been like super great and super helpful for me, even in the short period of time that I've been at Tech. So I'm really grateful for FCA. I'm really grateful for all that they're doing and the way that they've impacted me so far. What's up, guys? I'm Tariq Sapp, part of Virginia Tech track and field team. I am a fellowship of Christian League student leader here at Virginia Tech. Um, FCA has blessed me in a variety of ways. Being able to come on Mondays and challenge my walk with God through discussion, um, through worship, with other leaders, um, you know, other members of FCA, and just being able, being able to step out of my comfort zone, you know, sharing my testimony. Um, having a FCA rep like Corey, who sends us scriptures, who sends us passages, who prays with us before track meets, you know, that's a blessing. And I feel like it's essential for every athlete at every sport, you know, just having somebody who's, you know, tapping you on the shoulder when you need that help, when you need that guidance as many of us are far away from home. Hello, my name is Ariane Rivera. I'm a student athlete at Virginia Tech. I run track and field. And I guess I'll start off by saying that my interactions and everything that we've been doing with the FCA so far has been nothing but helpful and wonderful. We've been working with Corey. I feel like we've all as a team have enjoyed his presence. He comes to practice, he motivates us, and we have prayer groups every Friday before meets. Um, and they're really insightful. When Corey first came, I was very hesitant. But after I realized what he was really trying to do and how he was really trying to help us on our path to God, I think that it's amazing what he's done for me personally and as a team you know I feel like we've become closer spiritually as a group after Corey came you know we had more hope in ourselves and in God and that he was putting us on the right path athletically and even just in our lives in general and I just now recently started doing um, Bible studies you know with Corey and you know some of my other teammates have you know been starting to get involved as well with him my name is Jonathan Cabongo. I'm part of the men's basketball team here at Virginia Tech. And I personally think that uh, FCA has been, you know, one of the most integral things to a positive experience for me at, here at Virginia Tech, you know, whether it's just my college experience you know, in general or, you know, more specifically my athletic experience. Because, you know, having people like EL, and I'm sure there's many other team chapters that are doing the same thing, you know, just speaking into your life every, every practice or, uh, every away game, at home game, you know, and 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 being able to be grounded in in the word of the Lord, regardless of where we were, um, was definitely really important for me. And I think I grew a lot spiritually because of that. You know, I, I don't think I've had that much consistency um, with spiritual things in my life. And it was when I got here that I I truly learned what it meant to follow Christ every day. You know, not just on a Sunday or not just when you're around people that are spiritual, but, you know, also when you're on the court or, you know, everywhere you are, just being a representation of him was something that I really learned a lot being here. And, and I want to credit FCA for a lot of it, because honestly, a lot of the big strides that I made were through FCA. And um, I'm just, I'm, I'm really grateful that God had has given me the opportunity to be a part of that, you know, especially being in college where it's so easy to get lost, and especially being an athlete where it's even easier to get lost in, you know, things that are that are really destructive, you know, to your faith. So I'm just grateful for FCA, and um, I'll always be a supporter of FCA, and I'm sure that they're going to continue to change and, you know, um, make many more lives positive. Hi, my name is Hannah Wilding. I'm a senior at Virginia Tech and I'm a member of the swimming and diving team. I actually just finished up my career in swimming right before everything with the coronavirus happened. So it was a really special ending and I was really thankful for it. I'm sad that we can't all be together today, but I'm really excited that I get to share my thankfulness with you all via this video and just let you guys know how much FCA has meant to me throughout my career as a student athlete at Virginia Tech. FCA has been a place to experience the consistency of the gospel, of God's love for us, and ultimately what 
the consistency of a relationship with Jesus looks like throughout college. I know God deeper through acknowledging his goodness in all circumstances. I think that in sports, it can be really easy to fall into the performance trap. And it's a dark trap of thinking that our worth is based on how well we perform. But FCA has been such a reminder to me that I am known and my worth is based on Hannah being the daughter of God and the daughter of the Most High King and not on how fast of a swimmer I am. Um, it has also been a place where fellow athletes, be it just throughout Virginia Tech or through all of the East Coast, as we've been able to go to uh, some conferences, have pushed me to treasure his word and treasure my relationship with Christ. And it's provided me with my own platform for leadership in the sports world. Uh, I've been able to encourage my teammates that abundant life is only possible through knowing Christ's sacrificial love for us. Ultimately, Virginia Tech FCA has been influential and it's fostered a place for me to be comfortable and to grow in my own faith and my own relationship with the Lord. It's helped me grow as a leader in sports and it's reminded me that Jesus is constant through the highs and the lows of sport and more broadly that he's constant through the highs and lows of life. Hey everybody, this is Christian Webster, one of the assistant coaches for the men's basketball team. And uh, I just want to make sure everybody's staying safe and practicing social distancing. And uh, hopefully we can get through this thing um, uh, sooner rather than later. Um, but FCA, man, it's, it's, it's been an awesome experience for me. Uh, Coach E.L. Smiling has been a great friend, a great mentor to not only myself, but to the entire men's basketball program. You know, I've been here for going into five years now, which is crazy. And all those chapels on the road and um, those one-on-one -on -one meetings with E.L. And uh, I know he's had a tremendous impact on not only myself, but every single person in our program. When we have chapel on the road, uh, the day of the game, you know, it's not only myself and the coaches and the players. I mean, it's managers and, uh, you know, administrative assistants and everyone in there um, just, just trying to get a little bit better and trying to grow a little bit more spiritually. So um, I cannot harp on the significance and the impact that FCA has had on my life and on the lives of everybody in our program. Thank you very much and everybody stay safe. Hey guys, it's Kendall Fuller. Um, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in to the 2020 FCA virtual ministry celebration. Um, I just want to take a couple minutes to share with you guys how God used FCA at Virginia Tech to save my life. Um, going into college, you know, I had the idea that I would wait to pursue God once I left. Um, and, and my freshman year, I pretty much did that. Um, going into my sophomore year, I remember going into a big game against Ohio State and Brother Dave kind of challenged me and just encouraged me to come to chapel, um, you know, whenever I finished my interview. And I remember walking by the chapel on my way up to my room and something just came upon me to just, just go, in, go inside, sit in there. And I remember sitting there and Brother Dave just encouraged all of us to go upstairs to our room and, and pray before we went to sleep. And I remember walking up to my room, hopping right in my bed, and again, something came over me. And it said, just get out of bed and pray. And from that day on, you know, I was just hungry to learn more about God. Um, I started going to, to weekly meetings with Brother Dave, um, cross training, Bible studies. Um, you know, a lot of us gathered in groups to go to, to go to church some Sundays. And, you know, and one of the weekly meetings with Brother Dave was actually December 18, 2015, was the day that I decided to give my life to Christ. And, uh, you know, I'm just thankful for those opportunities because FCA allowed us to to get around other believers, to get into God's presence. And, you know, I just pray that God continues to use FCA at Virginia Tech to save lives on that campus. And, uh, you know, that's why, that's the reason why I will continue to support Brother Dave and FCA at Virginia Tech. And I just want to give a huge, huge, huge thank you to all the ministry partners. I want to share with you the centerpiece of our ministry and the very thing that's most important in the life of every believer. And that's the gospel of Jesus Christ. In FCA, we use a simple and easy to remember presentation to share the gospel with our coaches and athletes called the four. The four represents four biblical truths that highlight the gospel message. God loves you. Sin separates you. Jesus rescues you. And the last is a question. Will you trust Jesus? God loves you. 
God created us and loves us more than we could ever imagine. He wants us to personally experience his love and discover his purpose for our lives through a relationship with him. Sin separates you. We cannot experience God's love when we ignore him. People search everywhere for meaning and fulfillment except from where we should get it from, and that's God. There are many ways which people don't trust God and ignore his ways. The Bible calls this sin. The Bible also says that we have all sinned and fall short of God's glory. Sin damages our relationship with God and with other people. It keeps us from experiencing the fulfilling life that God intended for us. And the result is this. You're eternally separated from God and the life he planned for you. Jesus rescues you. Sin does not stop God from loving us. Because of God's great love, he took on flesh in Jesus Christ and gave his life for us. At the cross, Jesus took our place and paid the penalty of death that we deserve for our sins. Jesus died and rose to life again. That's good news. Jesus offers us peace with God and a personal relationship with him. Through faith in Jesus, you can experience God's love daily, discover your purpose, and have eternal life even after death. The last part of the four is a question. Will you place your trust in Jesus? Faith is seeing how greatly God desires a relationship with us recognizing how our sin has disconnected us from God and putting our trust in Jesus, that he's paid the penalty for our sin. One of the biggest decisions in your life will be the decision to turn away from a life of sin and to turn toward a life and a relationship with God as you trust in the perfect work of Jesus. My name is Chuck Gearhart. My wife and I are both alumni of Virginia Tech. We are also ministry partners with the FCA. Also, I am honored to serve on the board of directors of the FCA at Virginia Tech. Sometimes we all struggle to know where and when to serve the Lord. By being a member of the FCA board at Virginia Tech, I have found a way that I think I am serving the Lord and the university that I love all at the same time. Impact on me being on the board has been tremendous. To get to know the godly men and women that we have on our FCA staff, to hear their enthusiasm and genuine excitement about how God is using them excites me. To see their dedication and watch them follow God's directions encourages me in my walk with the Lord. To be a small part of this is very rewarding to me. My favorite time of each board meeting is when we get to hear from our chaplains about the impact they are having on the athletes that they are ministering to and how God continues to op open doors for them how the athletes are responding to the good news of Jesus Christ, how the athletes continue to grow in their faith, and how these athletes are affecting their teammates with their testimonies. Our chaplains are making an eternal difference in these student athletes' lives. That's what this is all about, and that's why I will continue to support this ministry. Prayer. Prayer is a very important part of our ministry. We would ask that you pray for our chaplains, that God would give them opportunities to share his word. We would ask that you would also pray for our student athletes and coaches, that their hearts would be open to hear God's word. 
Also pray for our board, that we would be able to direct and support this ministry in the way God wants us to use it. I have been on the FCA Board of Directors for a number of years, and I have seen this ministry blessed by the Lord, growing from one chaplain in one sport to where we are today. Thank you for your prayers and for being a ministry partner. You are the reason we are able to do what we do. God bless you for that. We pray that everything that we do is pleasing to the Lord. I am now turning our program over to Kylie, one of our student athletes, for prayer. God bless. Please join me as we close our time together in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this time that we've had together. Thank you for everyone that's with us today and for the support that they've given to this ministry, whether it be in the giving of their time or energy or their financial support. God, we are so thankful that we are able to continue to grow and expand and serve teams and coaches um, and athletes across the country and across the world. Father, thank you for what you're doing in the lives of athletes and coaches. Um, we thank you for that which we cannot see and the work that is continuing to be done and um, the lives that will be changed that we don't even know of. Um, Father, I pray that we would just be steadfast and faithful in our service to you and our service to our teams and that we would just be lights and just faithful to share the gospel to everyone who has the ear to hear it. Thank you for this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.